Hi, you're with Chandi Pair Goodly once again. And in this video, I'm going to show you that how can you combine duplicate VLOOKUP values into a single row, maybe using a delimiter like a comma or a space. Let's just take a look at this problem here. We have multiple employee IDs here and their hobbies. So employee ID 1007 is appearing maybe more than one time. Once it's here, then it's here, then it's here. And I'd like to combine all the hobbies of that same employee in the same row. So over here, I have combined that uh, into a single row. So you can see sleeping, comma, hiking, and then music, reading, and jogging. And similarly, I've combined the hobbies for all of these people. Now, this is the Excel formula method, which I have done it using text join. In this video, what I'm going to talk about is more of the power query method. You can take a look at the Excel method. It's pretty straightforward, just a simple array formula. But I'd like to talk about the power query method. That how could you do this using power query? So first things first, I'm going to load the data into Power Query. So this is already converted into a table structure. I'm going to click on data and then I'm going to say from table. Uh, the data goes into Power Query. And the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize this table uh, and I will first have unique employee IDs only. And that I do it using the transform tab by the group by option. So I click on group by. Uh, basic is, is okay, uh, group by the employee ID. What that will do is it will just have unique employee IDs. And I'd like to create a new column. I'd like to call that as hobby. And the operation that I want to do in that column is that I'd like to have all the rows for all the hobbies that we have. And I'm just going to click on okay. And just like that, what happens is that against every single employee, I have all their records. So you can see that uh, the three or four or five hobbies that the first employee had are all mentioned right here. You can see that the next one had uh, maybe three hobbies and they are mentioned right here. That is done using grouping. And this is the table as of now. The problem is that if I expand the table using this double arrow, what this is going to do is this is going to create the expanded table once again, which I do not want. So from this table, what I'd like to do is I'd like to extract only one column, which is the hobbies of that particular employee and then combine them in a single row. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go add, I'm going to go to add columns and click on a custom column. There's a formula called table dot column which will help me extract the hobbies from here. So let's just call this new column as a list of hobbies. And I'm going to write that formula table dot column. And in that in that formula, I'm going to use a hobby as a full table. This is the full table, which is the hobby column. And then from this table, which has two columns, employee ID and hobby, I would like to extract the column called hobbies, right? And that's about it. And I'm just going to click on okay. And what this will do is this will give me a list from a table and the list obviously will just have one column, right? And now I can very well expand this list. And it says that expand to new rows or extract values. If I say expand to new rows, obviously 1007 is going to be repeated five times and I will have the record five times, but I don't want that. I'd like to extract the values. Extract values is going to give me an option to combine all the values in a single row. So extract values, uh, it says, do you want to use a delimiter? Of course, I want to use a comma and I'm going to say, okay. And you can see that uh, my hobbies are there in a single row. So if you'd like to add a, a space after the comma, maybe you can just do it right here. So in the formula bar, I'm just going to add a space after the comma and then click on OK. And we have the hobbies separated by a space and a comma. And now this is not needed. So I can just simply remove that. And that that's my query and the home tab. I'm just going to click on close and load. And this table is now transformed into something like this. And in just about a moment, my power query will have loaded that into my Excel. You can see that nine rows loaded and uh, I've actually loaded two rows here, employee table and employee hobbies. That was my earlier query, which I uh, provided as a solution in the Excel file. All right, that's about it. That's how you kind of combine multiple duplicate values in a single row using Excel or using Power Query. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Until then, thanks for watching and you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.